Good morning, caregivers. It's Tuesday morning, and today is March 26th. And I'm glad that you've tuned in to What's Going On With Mama. Are you ready? Have you got your day going? Have you had your, your Wheaties with your banana? <laughs> Do people still eat Wheaties? Can you buy Wheaties? I don't even know. But I'm glad every one of you has joined us. Um, I want to show you something I'm so proud of myself. I set my timer today, and I turned it on. It's a miraculous thing like to thank our sponsors, Vitamin Depot, loca located on Selenese Road behind Dunkin' Donuts. You can call them at 803-328-5800 and place your order for wonderful products that are clean and good for your body. Ask them about their essential oils and also CBD oil. I use it. Uh-huh. Keeps me a little bit calmer. Michael says that's good for this woman. <laughs> Life in the Carolinas, the award-winning television show hosted by Carl White. Go to their website, www.lifeinthecarolinas.com. This week, I recommend you click on the link that says Angel Wing Corner. It's a story out of North Wilkesboro, North Carolina, and I think we need that right here in Rock Hill, South Carolina. So some of you folks listening who have some pull, let's make that happen here. So check it out. I wanted to tell you about our fundraiser where we want you to donate your old sneakers. Oh, there we go. And our fundraiser is called Got Sneakers. And we just want you to bring your old sneakers, your old tennis shoes, your old athletic shoes, your cleats that you're no longer using, if they have rubber soles, and donate them. And then we can in turn send them to a company who gives us $1 for every pair. You can drop your tennis shoes off at Dr. Epps' office on Selenese Road. He's across the street from the Dunkin' Donuts and near Vitamin Depot. You can go see David at Vitamin Depot and drop off your shoes at Dr. Epps' office. Pass more grocery and get grill on Saluda Street. Your travel service is East Black Street, Chester Golf Club, Old Richburg Road, Rock Hill Tennis Center on Cherry Road, Mixed Fit at Beast be fit studio on white street and later today Michael and I will be placing a box at Little Cafe on Cherry Road. So check that out. If you have a church, I would love to come and bring that box to your church. And if you would let me, I could come on Sunday morning and address your congregation. Tell them just a little bit about what we do and explain our fundraiser. Oh, that would be good. So let me know. All right. Well, today I wanted to talk with you about bathing your loved one. You know, sometimes we just have folks that don't want to get a bath. Now, sometimes our folks with dementia are fine bathing. It's all right. My mom still very much enjoys getting a bath. But I have been around folks that when you put them in the shower, as soon as you start touching them to do any personal care at all, they start screaming to the top of their lungs, like hear them four blocks down the road. I know, I know a lady, Miss Betty, that used to do that. Oh, my word. She would scream. You would think they were totally just you know, beating her. They were just trying to brush her hair, wash her face, whatever, and forget bathing. That was crazy. But when they would get through, she would stop, just stop that screaming and go, thank you very much. <laughs> so what do we do to help lessen that anxiety? And what do we do to make it more palatable, we'll use that word, for our loved one with dementia? Well, there's a few things you need to understand. One, as we talked about, was it yesterday, about how peripheral vision, our vision gets down to just one eye. You've got to remember that if this is all the vision that we have, um, then when the water falls, we don't know where it's coming from. You know, if all we can see is just this little area right in front of us and water's falling from this unknown source up here, it scares us. Well, what happens when you get scared? Do you sit there and go, oh, this is so nice. I'm very scared, but life is good. No, you don't. You react to it. You get oh, worked up about it. And that's what happens for, with our folks with dementia. They start flailing. They start cursing. They start trying to get away from whatever it is that's going on. So we don't start with the water up here. That's just sensible, right? For a good shower experience, we need several things. One is we need the shower massage you know that's got the long cape the long hose with the big head that we can bring down and where that water doesn't start up there we need lots of towels lots of big towels this is um a towel sheet one of it's not just your regular bath towel it's like a beach towel you need several of those and we need 
treats that our loved one likes. So let's talk about how that's gonna work. Oh, and we need a toilet seat. As I told you last week, we'll go with the shower chair in the shower, that's okay. But if you wanna make it a really good experience, get a portable potty chair that you can put in the shower to set them on it. And in case they need to potty while they're in the shower, it's okay, they're sitting on a potty chair. But anyway, if not that, then a shower seat. Don't put them in the bathtub, you'll never get them out. But first we gotta get them in the bathtub and sometimes that's a problem. What are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna entice them. We're gonna start with their favorite snack food and chocolate bar. <laughs> this is a pitiful house we live in. The only thing resembling a chocolate bar I have is an Atkins bar I cut into pieces. That is sad, isn't it? But we're gonna pretend this is my mama's favorite chocolate bar, which would be a Kit Kat. Um, and I would say, Mama, come, let, let's go in here. I've got a whole box of Kit Kats. Come on, let's go have some Kit Kats. And you get Mama up and you just talk and happy talk with her. You get her in the bathroom, you sit her down on the toilet and you hand her a Kit Kat. And while she's eating that Kit Kat, you go, Mama, let me straighten up your socks and shoes for you. And you get down and you start messing with her shoes and you go, I'm gonna have to take this shoe off in order to, to help you. And so you get down and you go, Mama, let, let's just go ahead and maybe lotion you up. So you take off the socks and shoes under the pretense of lotioning her up. And you keep, you keep giving them their favorite snacks. And remember, you need to have something to drink while you're at that so you don't, don't let them choke. Something with a straw, we love straws. And you keep, communicating with them in a pleasant, upbeat way. And you might say something like, Mama, if you came and sat on this, this stool right here in, in, that I've got set up, the one that's gonna be in the shower, right? I could help you better. Let, let's get you over there. And so, well, before you do that, let's, let's go ahead and let you potty. So we're gonna pull down the pants, we're gonna pull down the underwear. Now we got that off, we've got the socks and the shoes off where we're getting there. We give them another piece of their favorite candy and we tell them to sit here and um, we're just gonna keep on, gonna keep on getting you all lotioned up and pretty for the day. And then get their legs turned around. Well, before that started, you've got that shower massage down and you've got that water running in the bottom of the bathtub. Not real strong, we don't want it beating on them. Me, I want it as hard on me as I can get it, just you know, pelting down on me with hot water. No, no, you need to check that water right here like you used to do the milk for your baby before you gave it to them. See what it feels like. You don't want it really hot, you don't want it cold. And it's just gonna be running down there in the bottom of the bathtub. And their feet, you're gonna say, oh, there's a little bit of water down here. Don't, don't, be, don't be frightened, there's a little bit of water down here. And now they're sitting in there. But what you did was you covered the exposed area with that towel. Well, you know, some of your folks might not care if they're covered, but some of your folks are gonna want some modesty. So you're gonna cover up that exposed area. And then you're gonna say, mom, let's just go ahead and take that shirt off. And, um, we'll put a clean one on today. And then you're gonna cover that exposed area with the towel. So now there's nothing exposed. Now this is especially important if you're bathing someone who doesn't know you or they feel uncomfortable, or maybe it's a female, maybe it's a daughter bathing a dad or a son bathing a mom, then you've got to provide that, that modesty, cover them up, they don't want that. Plus they're cold and you don't want them to be cold. So you're gonna cover them up. And while they are eating, you're gonna start with that shower massage down at their feet where they can see it, bathing those feet. Oh, doesn't that feel good, Mom? Now don't rub hard, cause they're not gonna want it. Don't scrub with the washcloth. They're not gonna want that. You're gonna bathe, it's a gentle bathe, and use some good soap and start working your way up using that shower massage to rinse as you go. Now we've got towels across the private area down there and I would skip the entire bottom parts, <laughs> you know, our privates, the bottom end and all those accompanying parts for right now. I would then come up and start rubbing the arms with the washcloth and rinsing it and doing the other arm and say, Mom, how about if you lean forward real good and I will wash your back. So you have them lean forward and now you can wash their back. And you might wanna take your hand and give them a little gentle push. And when you do, we've just exposed the rear end and you can wash their bottom end right there. You're gonna get a very large percentage of the rectum area. Oh, 
did I say that word on a Tuesday morning? But you're going to get a bit, a good bit of it cleaned. Now, if your loved one is cognitive enough, you can say, Mom, here is a nice warm washcloth. Well, you wash your, you know what? Mama, you wash it down there. I don't want to wash it. You wash it. <laughs> we all have a word that we will use. I ain't even going to go there. <laughs> Ask them to wash it. And they can do that underneath the towel. You see, we've still protected everything. Now, we haven't washed the boobies. That's probably something they're going to be willing to wash. And it's probably okay if you wash that. But the whole time, they're covered up. Now, as those, wa those towels get wet... We want to discard them and get another warm one to keep our person warm. A good bath with someone with dementia produces a lot of wet towels, but that's okay because what you don't want is an agitated person. So now we've got everything washed. Oh, I forgot to wash the face, but hopefully you've been washing the face anyway. Um, so now we've got a washed person who's not agitated, who's had snacks, who's had something to drink to wash down those snacks, who stayed warm, their dignity is intact, and they've not had any surprises by water falling from someplace they didn't know. See, I'm gonna tell you what, if you entice me to get a snack or to take a nap or anything with cookies, I start getting interested. Now make sure that snack you offer is something your loved one wants. You know, don't offer them Brussels sprouts. <laughs> That ain't going to work for nobody. <laughs> so I hope that gives you some tips that will help in, in bathing. But when you get them out, grab some of those dry towels. Get them all covered up real good. Find that full-length bathrobe. Put them on it. You know, you can put your loved one in the shower with a full-length bathrobe on and bathe them. Think about it. You can unzip parts. You can raise up the bottom and put it back down. You can reach up under it and it keeps them warm. The whole thing is making folks comfortable and getting the job done without anybody being upset. Don't put them in the bathtub. You'll put them in and you can't get them out. Think about getting a potty chair to set them on in case they need a potty while you're washing them up. And if not, use a shower chair. All right, those are my tips for the day. Time just flies when I spend time with you folks. I want you to contact me and let me know what's going on in your world. You can email me, and my email is carol at letstalkdementia.org. I'm receiving um, messages from a lot of you, and, and I always will write you back, or I'll send you my phone number and ask you to call me, and we'll talk about what's going on in your world. I want to be a source to, to bring hope. And, well, as I say, knowledge brings power. Power brings hope. Hope brings smiles. No, I did that wrong. Knowledge brings power. Power brings hope. No, that's right. Hope brings smiles. And we all need more smiles. Isn't that the truth? All right. Our scripture for today, and I forgot to give it to you yesterday, and I had it posted right here in front of my eyeballs. But our scripture for the day is, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. That's my word today. Hope. Joy, peace. Check out Let's Talk to Minge on Amazon where we talk about those things. Amazon number one bestseller. All right. What have I not covered? I think I've told you most of the things I had on my mind today. We are looking forward to doing handbells at Lake Wiley Assisted Living. If you are interested in volunteering in this local area, contact me about that too. We can always use some volunteers to help us as we play handbells. We have the best time. Tomorrow morning we'll be at Mills on Wheels in Rock Hill with our group there. And they are a lot of fun. They, they challenge me there. It's a good thing. All right. Thank you to our sponsors, Life in the Carolina. Carolinas, you can find them at www.lifeinthecarolinas.com. Award-winning television show. Click on that link called Angel Wing Corner. It's a good story. Vitamin Depot, located on Selenese Road behind Dunkin' Donuts. You can call them at 803-328-5800 and tell them Carol sent you as you look for those items that will be good to keep you healthy. Yeah, I, I take all kinds of supplements and use all kinds of stuff. Yeah, trying to keep healthy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to outlive all the diseases. Yes, I am. I hope you have a good day. I hope your caregiving journey brings you smiles. Write me and tell me what's going on, Carol, at letstalkdementia.org. And keep smiling, folks. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to talk about random acts of kindness. And Thursday, we're making oriental slaw. Mm -mm -mm. Good stuff. Bye, y'all. Oh, that's my buzzer. <laughs> <laughs>